Good morning, everyone. I'd like to call to order this Monday study session of the Pierce County Council. It is Monday, October 14th, 2024. The time is 11.02 a.m. All members are present except for Councilmember Denson, who is excused. That brings us to item number two, review of the October 15th, 2024 council meeting agenda. Ms. Long, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. This is your regular council meeting agenda for tomorrow. Uh, it is amended. We'll start with your consent agenda, and you do have a, quite a number of items uh, for introduction and scheduling under two. These are resolutions. Um, the first group of these, well, you'll see a few additions, but they're all very similar. Um, these are all uh, authorizing the executive to execute interlocal agreements uh, between Pierce County and a jurisdiction uh, for the provision of specialized law enforcement services. Uh, we heard a little bit about these in rules this morning uh, for scheduling. Um, these are all being, uh, or you will be setting these for final on October 29th. Um, the first of these is our 2024-221. This is with the city of Fircrest. Our 2024-222 uh, is with the city of Gig Harbor. Our 2024-223 is with the city of Ruston. Our 2024-224 is uh, with the town of Eatonville. And next is our 2024-225. This is with the city of Roy. And the last of these on your consent is our 2024-226. And this one is with the town of South Prairie. So those are all for scheduling and introduction. Uh, we will move down to section seven, uh, proclamations, recognitions, awards, and presentations. You have two proclamations and one presentation tomorrow. Uh, first up is uh, proclaiming October 17th, 2024 as Great Shakeout Day in Pierce County. And that was requested by Council Member Campbell. Uh, next is proclaiming October 19th, 2024 as Community Conflict Resolution Day in Pierce County. And that was requested by Council Members Hitchin and Campbell. And then you have a presentation. This is a Pierce Transit Destination 2045 Long Range Plan presentation. And that will be with uh, Pierce Transit staff. Moving to section eight resolutions, you have three items here. The first is R2024-212, and this is approving the 2024-2025 funding recommendations of the Pierce County Human Services Department for Farmers Markets. Uh, this received a due pass at rules on October 7th. Uh, next is uh, similar. It is uh, R2024-213, approving the department's funding recommendations for uh, equipment and capital needs for food banks. Uh, this also received a due pass recommendation at rules on October 7th. And the third resolution is R2024-214. Uh, this is the department's funding recommendation uh, related to food insecurity. Uh, that also received a due pass at rules on October 7th. Moving to section nine ordinances, you have one item here. It's O-2024-552. And this is vacating a portion of 100th Street East. Uh, this received a due pass at EIDC on September 24th. And those are your agenda items for tomorrow afternoon's regular council meeting. Thank you, Ms. Long. Are there questions about the October 15th tomorrow's regular meeting? Not seeing any and uh, no amendments or grant authorization requests that we're expecting. Correct. Our number three is review of committee agendas for the week. Ms. Long. Thank you. So uh, this afternoon at 1.30, we do have a public safety committee meeting. Um, there are two uh, discussion items. The first is the criminal justice dashboard walkthrough. And this will be with Amy Scott German from finance. And next you have the use of force report update with Julie DeMuth from finance. Uh, tomorrow morning, beginning at 9.30, you have a Health and Human Services Committee meeting. Uh, there is one uh, presentation on this. It is the Connections Health Solutions Introduction and Virtual Tour. And that will be with Connections Health Solutions um, staff and uh, Michael Trancy from Government Affairs. Um, at noon is your regular Tuesday study session. Uh, you have... Two items that are in addition to your usual agenda items. Uh, first is a discussion of the estimated cost of new indigent defense caseload uh, standards that will be presented by um, 
uh, Amy Scott German from finance. And then you do have another executive session uh, tomorrow at 3 p.m. is your regular council meeting. Uh, the Wednesday Flood Control Zone District Executive Committee uh, for this week has been canceled. So those are the meetings for the remainder of this week. Thank you, Ms. Long. Questions or comments about agendas for the rest of this week? Not seeing any, but item number four, discussion of administrative items. Ms. Murray. Uh, good morning, Julie Murray, Chief of Staff. Uh, I want to note, since uh, Council Member Denson is not here, that tomorrow her new Council Member aide or assistant is having her first day on the job. Her name is Nicole Jones Vogel. So if you see a new person walking around, um, it's female. Uh, <laughs> you know that she's potentially part of the staff and please uh, introduce yourself. She'll be spending time with me in the morning with Priscilla, um, getting all of the human resources uh, stuff done and then some time with both myself and uh, Mike Kruger to just sort of get up to speed on council operations and sort of the uh, council member Denson's uh, committee assignment um, things. So uh, there's that. The the second thing I'd like to do is thank the members for having a very special uh, rules and operations meeting on the 21st to address all the interlocal agreements that we have um, that will enable us to also use October 29th, which we had thought, you know, we may be able to avoid um, during our committee reduction, but we will need to have that meeting in order to introduce primarily the mid biennial budget um, ordinance from the uh, executive. And so that allows us to use our time there to then also um, act on those interlocal agreements. Uh, but we do have the committee reduction generally happening um, throughout the week with the exception of uh, next uh, Monday, and, Monday and Tuesday where there's meetings. Um, and then lastly, uh, you know, just to note, it is, it is nice that there is sort of a lull happening in the last two weeks of October. We're going to be very busy in the months of November and December between comp plan um, uh, and the um, mid-biennial budget. There's a number of ordinances that go along with the budget. Um, we'll be having uh, pretty you know robust meetings and we are going to likewise use this as an opportunity to sort of uh, for some cross training because there is so much work and there is a um, a lot of code related work is to allow Linda the time to concentrate on that. We will be having Audrey work in the committee of the whole and doing the mid biennial budget so that she can learn that process. And then um, there'll be sort of a divide and conquer with the comp plan with Brenna doing the non code proposals. Um, as clerk for CDC, and then the code proposals being worked on by Linda. So you'll see some sort of new faces and a lot of um, cross training and sort of sharing the sharing the load generally. And that includes me. Um, I may you may see me clerking <laughs> as a surprise, uh, but we'll also use this as an opportunity to train Alicia as well on committee operations. But it's just a lot of work, and it'll be all hands on deck. I think similar to what we all experienced last year. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Murray. Thank you, Ms. Long, for all the work and support of the team to make sure the team is um, fully up to speed and able to support our robust work plan. Any questions for Ms. Murray? Don't see any. We're at item number five, other business. Is there any other business by members? Let's see any, Ms. Long. Any other business before we move into executive session? No, not today. Thank you. Ms. Long, to state the purpose of the executive sessions, please. All right, thank you. So uh, there are two executive sessions on your agenda for today's meeting. Um, the first is pursuant to RCW 4230-1101-I, the purpose is to discuss with legal counsel matters of pending or potential litigation to which the county is or may become a party uh, and which public knowledge of is likely to result in an adverse legal or financial consequence to the county. Uh, that discussion, um, the time estimate is about 20 minutes. Uh, the next executive session on your agenda is authorized by RCW 4230-1101-G, and this is um, to evaluate uh, the or review the performance of a public employee. Uh, the statute provides that discussion by a governing body of salaries, wages, and other conditions of employment generally applied shall take place in a meeting open to the public. Uh, and when the governing body elects to take final action, hiring, setting the salary of an individual employee or class of employees or discharging 
or disciplining an employee, that action shall be taken in a, a meeting open to the public as well. Uh, and so it's up to you if you want to consolidate these um, and then just state the time at which you'll return into the open session. And just for the public's benefit, the only item following the executive sessions is adjournment. So no action will be taken today. Thank you, Ms. Long. And everyone for the first executive session is here in person. Yes. Okay. We will um, be uh, in executive session till noon. And uh, so we'll be in recess until noon for the purposes of executive session and recess. They come, the bearers of and three, two, one. Well, the council is back from its executive session. Uh, there being no further business before the Pierce County Council in our Monday study session, we are adjourned. <laughs>